Welcome to another video. We're on the GoPro today with the media mod. So here's what I'm planning to do. I'm only going to use this media mod microphone. No other, no other mics, just this. So we're going to get GoPro audio. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the uh, processing on camera. So the GoPro has an option to process raw audio and give you a separate wave file. I'm going to do that on high. And then, and then what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through Adobe's uh, audio AI cleanup thing, which I've been using for some videos and I've been using it on client work. The cleanup stuff, fairly nice. And it seems to be getting a lot better. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do only onboard mic and yeah, let's see how it goes. So what we are doing today is a hybrid shoot. We've got a photo video shoot over in Rowlett uh, for a neat little dentist office. A little tiny Main Street kind of business. Uh, very fun. I like doing these because they are um, pretty interesting. Uh, pretty interesting, I, I think. Um, but I have a ton of gear. So what I'll do is I'll do the voiceover with the with the Mickey mod. So let's go do that real quick. Since I'm doing portraits, I wanna make sure I bring plenty of lighting. So I have the TT-685, the 600, and another 685 for lights. Little adapters for the stands, my wireless transmitter, and tons of extra batteries, just in case. I also have my stands, my tripod, and my umbrellas, 224s and the 36. I'm also bringing the Rode Wireless Go with an extra extension cable and a lav mic just in case the Rode kind of doesn't work. For camera gear, I'm bringing the R6 with two lenses, the 17 and the 40, and the 24 to 105. That's going to be for portraits and such. Everything else is going to be in the wide. I'm also bringing the Weeble, uh, I think it's like a first or second one, uh, and some extra band-aids, a PM multi-tool, and a little knife, Swiss Army thing that I usually take just, just in case. And that's what everything looks like all packed up. So needless to say, a bunch of gear is uh, kind of what I'm bringing today. Not not as much as uh, like a big event or anything like that, but it's still a lot of gear that I have to bring, uh, to say the least. So let me get to that. Uh, I'll try to show you around if I can, uh, if I have time, which I might, but I'm not making any promises. So I'll check back in with you when I'm all wrapped up, okay? Holy cow, we are cooking in here. It's hot. It's Texas. It's hot. It's going to be hot for the rest of my life, I guess. Okay, I ran almost an hour over, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't want to... I'm in, I'm in no rush to get back into traffic or to get into what is now rush hour traffic. So first order of business is... Coffee. Okay, so I have the AC down a little bit more. I'm pretty interested to see how the uh, Adobe AI audio cleaner upper stuff does with that much noise. I've used it with uh, audio clips where I've had a lot of noise per se, like um, outside with some wind and all that good stuff, and it did a pretty decent job, but I've never tested it with that amount of background noise so i'm interested to see if it's going to do a good job it's you, you probably already seen it because i put the clips up but i right now don't know how it sounds I'm, I'm interested to to hear how it turns out i got my coffee um just a tiny thing uh i'm going to spend the rest of this hour or so in traffic so wish me luck coffee should help yeah coffee should help Okay, it has been a few days. Uh, I've been able to get the edit taken care of. One thing I do want to point out, the um, so, so Adobe's um, Audio Enhance, AI Enhance, whatever it's called, um, you know what I mean. Uh, it's still in beta and it's doing such a great job with uh, cleaning up audio. It doesn't 
it's not perfect again it's still in beta but for something being in beta and as new as it is well to to me as new as it is it it's crazy how good it is so let me play you this clip from the uh the first clip from me getting in the car when i had the ac almost full blast um so the car was on ac was on full blast and i was just uh give me a sec it's just using this the, the microphone from here from the media mod uh, nothing else, and I, that's the audio that they, I'm gonna, okay, hold on. I'm gonna play it first with the audio. Holy cow, we are cooking in here. It's hot. It's Texas. It's hot. It's gonna be hot for the rest of my life. And that's the audio, that's the audio cleaned up. That's how it sounded. You, you remember. Um, but here's how it sounded without any uh, enhancements or anything like that. I had no cleaning, no post-processing or anything like that. This is, this is how it sounds. Holy cow, we are cooking in here it's hot it's texas it's hot it's gonna be hot for the rest of my life which i think is pretty hecking amazing uh, especially considering i didn't have to mic this i didn't have to do any of that stuff it made it a lot more um easy for me to kind of catch clips and talk do the talking head thing than um trying to put this on turn this on turn on the receiver plug it in do all that good stuff uh, so I definitely think I'll probably be using that a lot more, especially because it just made it so darn convenient to get clips. And I didn't really have to think about getting exceptional audio uh, that much. Uh, one thing to note that it, it kind of didn't do the greatest job in some spots. So if you if you have a keen ear, if you will, uh, you can kind of hear it struggling to kind of assume what you're saying wind and all that good stuff and it did a pretty decent job but i've never tested it with that amount of um but it's not the end of the world i wouldn't use it necessarily uh, i wouldn't rely on it for like professional work per se um but it does do a really good job when you mic someone up and it's as quiet as you can get it so it's a nice tool to have for for client work but just make sure you you get as clean and as good audio as you can beforehand don't 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 try to, you know, take this in the, like, next to traffic or anything like that. And with a bunch of wind going on, don't, don't, don't count on it doing the best job, but count on it doing a pretty decent job. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go back to miking stuff up with all this junk, especially with this little one, maybe for the bigger cameras and stuff. But I think for right now, I'm going to go ahead and stick with that, with the GoPro. Um, but... I may, uh, I may, I may get a different mic. My biggest gripe with this is that when I use this and I clip it onto my shirt, it always ends up doing that, which is kind of annoying, but not a big deal. So yeah, tell me what you think about AI Enhance from Adobe. It's still in beta again, but if you have an account, you can sign up and probably get all signed up for it. Words, you know, I gotta go. It's a different day. I got another shoot in a few hours and um, I gotta figure out what we're gonna be doing for the next few weeks. Yeah, it should be it should be fun. I need to figure out audio because I mean, um, probably end up using this pretty soon. The heck, this come from?